All right, boys, back to the sonda. We got more metal work to do. So I was hoping to finish up the engine bay today, but unfortunately we only have enough welding gas to hopefully finish up the rear floor pan. I didn't realize how scarce this stuff is right now. Of course, I should have assumed given this whole thing, but a new bottle comes in tomorrow, we'll finish that up. But as I've been working on the E36, Brian has been prepping the rest of the trunk to weld the floor pan in and uh, it's basically there. On top of that, Brian was actually able to bend up a rear brace for the strut towers. And it's something we've been talking about for a really long time, but seeing it together is pretty cool. Check it out. So we got this one and three quarter inch pipe, got it bent up to basically integrate the towers with the rear subframe mount we made all in one piece. And honestly, beyond it being a really cool structural piece, it looks super gangster, so really pumped on that. Today's gonna be a long, tedious day, but I mean, the whole project's been, so let's get to work. You ready? Yo, I'm gonna spray this stuff over everything. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this stuff sticks really well to bare metal. And just to let you guys know, we're not just aimlessly painting things gold because we think it looks cool. This is just weld through primer. Make sure panels don't rust in between other panels. That's right. It's a uh, zinc based copper enriched weld through primer for superior corrosion protection. Okay, okay. just between give me this, welded substrate. Give me, me, the, the tip's about to fall off, I and mean, you gotta always give it a shot in the trash can. All right? Freaking rookie. Yeah, I got the respirator, all right? I'm obviously the professional here. Yep, mm hmm. So we're gonna uh, paint the bottom of the floor pan off the car because it'll make life a lot easier. Which one of you idiots throws boxes in the dumpster and they're like this big, <laughs> like not broken up? That wasn't up. me, I can always break those things down. Same. Brian doesn't throw boxes I break them down. down, I pay that bill, of course I'm breaking them down. <laughs> it's probably Drew. Someone's dumping. Let me be Picasso this time, all right? Give it to me. I think Picasso used aerosols. <laughs> Why do the whole thing? Car. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Jimmy Hall. That's my dad's name. What was that? <laughs> That's my That's dad's actually name. your dad's name. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. Did you learn nothing? What was that? You're like an amateur still. <laughs> Just start at one end, go like you're mowing the lawn. I'm impatient. This is gonna take longer. <laughs> go, Jimmy, go. Spray that panel. Go, Jimmy, go. I feel like when I do long strokes, I always get drips. Uh, that right? You feel that happens. happens to me. What long, I do, strokes. long strokes, extra drips. <laughs> move, extra drips. Move faster or have less overlap. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I didn't know you we were talking about painting. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say she's looking like a dime, but it's looking more like a penny. Eh. <laughs> the, see, the goal here is it'd be really easy to make this car look really nice on camera, at least for a couple videos, but to make this thing look good in person and make it last is just like that much more, that much more work. I'll be aware of it. Wait, a screw has to go in every one of those holes, no. Brian? No, no, no. no. Okay. So the so the self tappers are to hold it down in place so when we go to fill all the plug welds, it's seated. Mm. Yeah, I want to make plug sure there's welds. no that's what I was wondering. No gap in between the two panels. Like see how there's a gap here? Yeah, no side. So the I mean I can put a clamp here, but on the outsides, I just want to get a couple self tappers. Plus I use these to locate it when I was building it. Okay. That way it's in the same spot when I'm taking it in and out several times. Oh, I got you. The fun part is gonna be welding every one of these holes because of course, we don't have a spot welder. We gotta drill holes, fill them and grind them to act as a spot weld. Yeah, I know you guys got a lot of time. Somebody pause the video and count how many welds are here. <laughs> Put it in the comments. And go. Pretty much there. Couple more screws.
Holy crap, how many screws are you using? You might as well just self taper the whole thing in. He said, oh, I'm just going to use I don't a know, couple. Like 20. Yeah, maybe. No, the, the front has a lot of tension and I, it needs to be tight. If it's not tight, you get corrosion later on. No one likes that. Isn't that good? We're basically making this into a daily driver. It's got to survive a CT winter, man. I'll take this thing down to 405. Does that sound good? I don't know where that is. Is that in California? Yeah, that's not here. You think we got enough gas? No. Oh, we'll keep that flow rate low. First hole is being win. Enough shielding on that? Looks good to me. Seems to work. How'd I do? How'd I do? It looks good, man. It looks great. So many. Yeah, all the all the welds that are over like perfect brand new metal came out perfect. Obviously, some of these where there's like two layers, there's a couple little bit of porosity, but just okay. I hope this really shows you guys how many there are now. That was ridiculous. But Salad. we officially have a four per. That's sick. Okay, so they are all welded in. Everything's great. It's a super tight fit. I clamped every single hole. Now it is time for the funnest part of it all. Grinding. All of it. Grinding. We've been grinding. All right, after a little while, I tag team Brian in, and uh, it's so funny because after we remove all these welds, Looks like we just did nothing. All right, so we've got it roughly ground down. Here we go. Oh, that looks so cool up there, seeing it integrate seamlessly. We still gotta hammer and dolly it now a little bit and do some more grinding and finish sanding and... Man, <laughs> feel, dude, it, it's like, it's tight. That's cool, that's real cool. Yeah, I don't hear, it doesn't sound like it would even rattle without seam sealer. We got the batter right here. Dude, we could put some two Big ass 12s, bong, right here. <laughs> <laughs> rattle the trunk off. You know what's not gonna rattle? The license plate? The floor it's pan. Oh. <laughs> all right, all the welds are ground down. The metal's all cleaned up enough. Now it's time for the part that Brian's been looking forward to all day. You yeah. Want, you wanna tell him what part that is, B? The, uh, the strip race that we made. Check it out. <laughs> Dude, I love this piece. Gotta go around there. And as you can see, we cut around the floor for it. It's gonna look great. Yeah. So there we go. Let's tack her up. Right in the metal. All right. Ready? Oh, you moved it. You moved it. All right, oh go. My gosh. The welder's not on. Do you guys turn the welder on? <laughs> it's not plugged in either. Close your eyes. Wait for it. And we're good. All right, we're good. She's she's strong. She's in there. That's it. There he goes. <laughs> Lucky the car didn't fall off the lift. I put, that's why I put my welding helmet there. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a lot of heat. That's what it's going to take, though. Fill her up, B. Fill her up. That just pushed 
so much metal. Dude, this Everlast, this thing's a gunner. This Nissan should be an advertisement for this thing, dude. This thing is sick. They're less than 400 bucks. Write the part number down. Where is it? Look at it. Melted. All right, got the pass off. That's a tight one. Do the honors. Well, I don't know if it'll... It'll fit. Fit right away, fit right but we will make it fit. It fits right away. <laughs> That's sick. Fits Check it out. Check it out. Complete unit. Well, okay, hold on. Let's go in there. So we're still putting a battery tray right here, and I think that's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna really balance it out. I'll put the weight over the axle, it's awesome. Then we do have an idea for the fuel spout. We're actually gonna try and utilize the factory one. Yeah, I, which all line. we gotta do really is drill a hole there and connect the two lines. So I ordered all the stuff to allow us to drill a hole here, and we should be able to connect the filler neck right to the fuel cell. Yeah, well, you ordered a filler neck. Yeah, filler neck and I You said you ordered the stuff to let us drill the hole. Did I say that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well I'm We already had the stuff to drill the hole. Jimmy ordered the stuff to fill okay, the gas. Okay. <laughs> Just check it out. Hold on. Josh, give me that battery. I know a lot of you guys suggested that we use the factory filler neck. That was a great suggestion. Uh, we wanted to do that from the beginning, but and the last thing of course, uh, we put those two bars in earlier to support the weight of the battery and look at this unit. Obviously this is the roughest it's gonna ever look. We still got seam sealer and paint and make it all pretty but man this this is a whole pro this is it you know what i mean like the whole rear end of this car has been its own project like the rear end is his whole thing this is cool feels good i, I feel like i could take a breath yeah um seeing it like this dude it's just dope super super dope i'm so excited let's take a look from the other side oh yeah not bad right i really like it i think it integrates like it looks done up, but it doesn't stick out ridiculous. That's what I love about it. Oh, where's my little bracket? It's right. So the back for the back seats, boom. So now we can run the back seats still. This is awesome. I love it. Love it so much. This is so cool. These little things go back on. Somewhere like that. You know that really strong factory bracing. This is awesome. Love it. Man, I like I feel like I'm so motivated to just to get this thing painted and seam sealed and mm -hmm. driving. Cause I know once it's painted, it's just we can do a, a mad dash. I'll get that and swap done quick. Don't you worry. I know that. She's just about there. Little, little, little bit of fabrication left. A couple two, three holes to fill. We filled quite a bit today. It's a unit. All right, so it's in there. We freaked out about it. It looks amazing. I'm so hyped. Yes. There is a bunch we're still going to do. Trust us. We're going to do it. So we basically only did two steps today. We did welding and grinding, but it took all day, but it looks awesome. We got a lot of it. We have a lot more of that to come. Yeah, but that was that was a huge step. Um, now all the all the holes in the car filled. Not all okay. of them. We got to what? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. There's still well, plenty of welding and grinding to do. There's still plenty. But the rear end as a whole, we're trying to tack, we're trying to just finish up the rear end, and then we could obviously work our way to the front, and we're almost there, and it's gonna be sick. I like almost can't even imagine it all one color. Do you think it's gonna look more normal? Do you think it's gonna look normal once it's a single color? I think so. I don't know about normal, but it'll look good. All right, fair enough. So, I'm gonna end it there. Hope you guys liked today's video and the progress on the Sonda. We have more to come. So you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And B, have a great night!